Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away, and we're going to be doing the next four stages of the fan home release of Build Your Own R2-D2. So watching over from yonder there, we've got R2, watching over what I'm doing today, we're going to be doing a little bit more of the frame and we're going to be working on the leg today as well. Now if you want to get this to yourself, just go over to the Fan Home website, I'll put the link down here and you can get this all the way from issue one. Over on the Fan Home website as well, you'll also find the Fast and the Furious Dodge Charger and the Iron Man. And if you're based in Germany or the UK, you'll see a new one's just popped up, which is Kit, the Knight Rider car. I think a lot of you have been waiting for that. But without further ado, Let's get cracking. So in issue 23, as you can see here, we've got some more of the dome section in and all we're gonna be doing is adding another panel. Quite easy, this one. So these are the parts that you get in now. Let's push that to one side and bring this over. This is the dome section that we've been working on. I'm gonna take this off the stand at the moment because we are gonna be adding another panel, as you can see here. Now this panel is going to be going next to this one just here. I'm just going to line it up where it actually goes. Just there. And that's going to be once again held in with the nuts and the bolts, which you should have saved from previous issues. I'm going to put a nut just over the top, like that. You do find better ways to doing this so that you don't lose any so i'll put a bolt in from the other side here that's going to hold one side in and then we'll get another one together here just lay that in the top hold it down with my finger there turn it upside down and get this one in from this side here so that one's in panel looking like that and that's all there is to do in that stage. We do have some parts left over, which we're gonna use in a later stage. So stage 24, gone straight to the back here. We're gonna be working on the first wheel, which is gonna be going at the bottom of the leg. So we're just gonna be creating this caster here. Now you've got some black fixing screws in a bag here, mixed with silver ones. The black ones are what we're gonna need in this stage and basically what we're going to be doing is piecing this caster together so we're going to be taking this side here putting that in one side making sure that the holes line up and then doing exactly the same on the other side that this one has got lugs so when we put it in it's going to match up get that all the way in there just like that so it's flush both sides and then quite simply we're going to take the longer of these black screws that we get in this stage and we're going to be putting four of those into this wheel here so that's one two three and finally last one here number four now it is good having this sort of texture this means it should be able to go over short pile carpet there having that sort of uh, ridge on it but that is all there is to do in that stage which leads us to stage 25 and as you can see we're going to be putting the last panel into that dome section now that's all they're going to do in that one but as you see we have got some more rim section here as well so i'll put the other rim section to one side and we'll put the last panel onto the dome here not hard to see where this goes. It's gonna fit in just like this here. You have some lugs to help locate that. And once again, we're gonna use a nut on one side and a bolt or screw on the other. So the hole is just there, put that in, and that's connected the first screw in. And we do the same on the other side. Drop the nut in that side there. Put the screw through that side. Make it tight. I've taken this off now. We don't actually need this on at the moment, but that is the dome section complete and then the last stage that we got here we're going to be doing the wheel mounting axle and bearing not a lot to do in this one we're going to be making the axle up and attaching this to the bottom of the leg and then we're going to be connecting the wheel that we just created uh, two stages ago to that so i'm going to bring up the leg so we've got this side facing us where you can see the screw tops on the top here so you know you've got it the right way around Quite simply this 
is going to be facing this way over the top like this. You have got some locating lugs in there to help you line that up, as you can see. And this is going to be fitted with four mil silver screws, which look like that, which we had a couple of stages ago, I believe they come. So one in here and one in the other one. That's what a four mil screw looks like. Excellent. We've got another two underneath it. So one here. And one on this side as well. Excellent. Once we've done that, we turn it over. We're gonna put a bearing in this side like that. We're gonna bring the wheel over that we worked on last time, looking like this. We put this part, this axle, through the side that hasn't got the screws. So it looks like that, and quite simply, that is just gonna fit inside the bearing that we just put on. And there we go, that's in there perfectly. We don't actually seal this in because we'll have another cover to do that, but that's all there is to do in that stage, and that's all there is to do in that pack. Bear in mind, we do have quite a lot of screws left, which we're gonna save for a further time. So those four issues, quite quick, weren't they? But uh, believe me, you're going to have some stages which are going to be pulling your hair out and they're going to take for a, uh, forever. But uh, that is all there is to do. So we're pretty much getting there with this leg. I can't put it too much, but that is what it's looking like with the foot over. Obviously, we've got to mount the other side yet. But that will hopefully be coming soon. If you want to get this for yourself, once again, put the link down here to the Fan Home website. Go and check that out. But I really do hope you liked the video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.